Kuzampu and the heartiest welcome. I'm Ishe, your host, and this is Talk and Show. My guest for tonight is the founder of Guide Association of Bhutan and a veteran tour guide. Please welcome Mr. Garab Duchi. Welcome to the show, La. Thank you, La. Hello, sir. How are you, La? Uh, fine, thank you, La. Okay. Can you introduce yourself briefly? Can you tell us briefly about you, La? Thank you. Uh, I'm Garab Duchi, chairman and founder of GAP. Uh, I've worked for 27 years in tourism. And you know, there's you know, no better job than tour guiding for me since it has been passion from my childhood days. And you know, I love it. And I will actually work as a guide till my last breath. And I feel that I, I'm one of the most luckiest men you know, on the earth you know, to have a job that you enjoy. OK. Thank Where are you, you from? Uh, I'm from Gelfu. Okay. But my parents, my father is from uh, Gaselo, and my mother is from uh, uh, Shamgang Tong. Okay, sir. Now, with COVID going on, how is the situation in the industry currently, la, in tourism industry currently? Uh, I think of all the industries, I think, you know, the tourism industry is you know, hard hit. And I have, as mentioned all the time, I said of all, initially, it was the guides, you know, from guides also, mainly the freelance guide, you know. The freelance guide have been actually laid, you know, laid off, since, you know, will be laid off from, uh, from duty uh, from late November onwards, because, you know. 2020? Yeah, uh, 2019. 19 November. onwards. Yeah. And normally, even during a season also, even if, the, even if there's no COVID, by end of November, you know, the flow of tourists is going to slow down, which means, you know, half, of even maybe even three quarters of the tour guide would be laid off. They'll not be getting a group. And majority of the guides who goes you know, with, with, with the tourists are freelance guides, which means they don't work permanently with, with, with any companies. Yes. So what has happened with this COVID, with, you know, with this COVID also, is that since November 2019, you know, majority of guides were, uh, didn't, have, didn't have a group. So after March 12, uh, all, all the guides. Mm. So you can see that you know, guides have been actually without a, you know, work for a long time. But we were blessed uh, with, with, the, you know, with the Royal Kidu and, 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 they receive, and, they, and we have been receiving that. And in fact, it has, been, it has been extended for another year. But at the same time, our guides, they didn't stay you know, back and, 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 and just you know, went on receiving Kidu. They also actually work in construction and the construction side. And in fact, we have even, you know, uh, uh, made few trails you know, to talk with. One is the Taksang Trail. Taksang Trail, we have enhanced it. We have actually built uh, restrooms. And we are, we are managing it with support from TCB. The next one is uh, uh, Pajiding Trail. That also we completed it. And we, you know, completed, we have widened it. We have enhanced. And even we made a new path so that you know, there's less, less disturbance or no disturbance to the Hmong body in, in Pajiding. And also, and then we have also now completed a Bumdra Trail. Mm -hmm. In Bumdra Trail, we in fact have actually made a new one and a half km and one one point three kilometers trail. That is that trail was not there in the past. So by building that trail, what happens is that you know it, uh, the Hmong body is not disturbed and it's it's entirely you know in the outskirts of the monastery. Okay, that's really good news for you know avid hikers and trekkers, lah. Okay, so. It looks like the tourism industry is doing not like um, not doing good job wise, but then they are engaged somewhere, engaged productively more. Okay, so next segment it is called true or false. So in this segment, I'm going to ask you like I'm going to give you random statements, and you have to state whether it's true or false according to you. Okay. It's your perspective. Okay, so please you. grab that okay, prop. <laughs> okay, are you ready, la? Uh, yes. La. Okay, let's go. Number one, something made me happy today. Something made you happy today. True or uh, false? True. Okay, tell me what made you happy today. I don't need a thing. I'm, I'm a positive man. <laughs> I always you know, believed you know, that okay. if you're positive, you're always happy. You know, okay. I, I don't think about negative effect. Okay. This I have always told my friends, my relatives, you know, guides all the time, you know, be positive. You know, it makes you a much mm. better human being and as well as a much you know, 
and a much happier person. Yeah, so your positivity made you happy Happy, today and every day, right? Every day, yes. Okay, that's really great to know. Number two, I am passionate about risk management because I actually have to show our environment to the tourists. True or false? Uh, That's 50%. Can you neutral sign? No, I don't know how this is. Yeah, this is the neutral sign. This is like 50 person. 50 person, yeah. Yeah. Tell us about it. Uh, It's not only tourists. As Mm. I said, it is in my blood. You know, I was groomed groomed from my childhood days. Mm. So definitely, yes, as a guide, as a person working in tourism, it is a must, you know, because when the tourist comes to Bhutan, you know, also for nature, environment, and pristine nature. So, you know, and and it's a a big plus point for us. But, you know, at at some point, it's so embarrassing for us when you see, you know, dirt, even in the remotest area where you don't expect. Mm. So, you know, then you have to cook up a story or you tell them <laughs> that they are ignorant about it. Mm. Or sometimes you are taking them on the hike and you see that, you know, they have dumped the garbage. Yeah, you have to, you know, if we feel that our clients should not see that. So we make the story, show them somewhere else. Oh. So and, 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 and we sometimes come in the way also. So that they, they don't see <laughs> Lots this. of drama going you know, on, right? You know, it's so embarrassing. At, yeah, you know, yeah, when yeah. We talk, when we talk and when we champion West, and when you see West in the unthinkable areas, you know, you know, you know it is quite, not yeah, only embarrassing, yeah. it's quite shameful. And also. our worldwide fame, we, Bhutan is mm. known for carbon negative country, that we have pristine environment. You're, you're put in a spot in a way, right? Yes. Yeah. So like you correctly said, yeah. it's... Um, neutral, right? Neutral, yeah, and you already yeah. had a passion for yeah. waste management yeah. from a very tender age. Yeah. Okay, number three, I am grateful. Are you grateful? Ah uh, yes, I'm. I'm. Well, uh, I'm okay. always grateful. Can you name uh. two th- uh, two things that you're grateful for, la? Uh, grateful to a person. Great. Yeah, anything no, yeah, that you're yeah, grateful. Yeah, two no, things that you're grateful for. Grateful about. Uh, I, I'm. One thing, you know, definitely, you know, I'm grateful for my uh, grandfather okay. and my father. Tell us my, about My it, grandfather you? molded me. A person I, who I am at the moment is because of my grandfather. I grew up basically with him, you know, you know almost like his son, mm-hmm. yes, like a youngest son. You know, my mother... You, you lived with your grandfather yeah, yeah, when you were yeah, younger? From, from a younger age, yes. Okay. Yeah. He would never talk bad with, of, mm. of anything else. And he's ready to help anybody else anytime, despite the fact, you know, he, you know, he was incurring losses, he was not doing well, but still he's ready to help. Mm. So when you have that kind of a person, and then also very, very religious, mm. I think, you know, one of the most religious, you know, <laughs> person that I, I have ever come across is my, my late grandfather. The, the, as I said, my, the second person, you know, you know I chose two persons, the, is my, my father. You know, as a person of integrity, honesty, loyalty. Mm. So, you know, when you see your, you know, when you, you don't have to go out to know these things. So yeah, when you have that, straight. yeah, when you have that in, in, your, in your own house, mm. you know, you absorb that, you know, you, you become part of it. So, you know, I, I feel really lucky, blessed, you know, to have that kind of, of a person, you know, in, in, you know, in, 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 the, in the place that I stay. Not only me, even my yeah. other siblings also, you know that we, we feel that we are really fortunate. The next segment, it is called Moral of the Story. Uh-huh. In this segment, I would like to know two wisdoms, mm-hmm. two um, lessons that you've learned in 53 years of your life. 53, right? La? Yes. So please impart your wisdoms. La. Uh, honesty is best policy. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and can, then, you, can you give us a small situation, how you learned that? You know, again, you know, it goes back to my grandfather, father, and in the school that I studied, and even my friends, you know, a lot of my friends were honest, sincere. So, you know, when you are in that kind of a group, you know, you, you, you become, mm. you know, you know, when you have good friends. So they've done good in life uh, and yeah, yeah, great they, in yeah, life they, yeah, with yeah, their and, honesty. Yeah. Honesty, and then, you know, and then, you know, most of them are sincere, honest, humble, you know, that, that, that way, you know, you, you, you need not shine. You know, you, you are still satisfied, content You're with happy, the life right? you are. You are yes. much, much more happier. Mm. So, you know, if, if you are not honest, if you, you will have to have many lies yes. to cover one lie. You know, and so and after some time, it's a practice. Yes, and then you become sense. a liar later on. Yeah, yeah. Integrity, I also yeah. believe, is yeah. one of the greatest yeah. asset a person can have. Yeah. Right, uh, Nothing beats yeah. a person who is honest, Honestly. who has 
you know, well, solid integrity, right? La? That's how we earn respect yeah. also. And second lesson would be? Uh, positiveness. Positivity, yeah, again. Positivity, <laughs> because uh, no, I have always championed on this. I said, being positive, you know, if you are positive, mm -hmm. you know, it helps you, it suits you, you know. It is almost like a karma. Yes. You know, mm. you do good to reap good. Yeah, so yeah. likewise, if you're positive, you know, you feel better. For example, you know, I may earn only 10,000. <clears> you don't compare with the person who is getting 20,000. You compare yourself with the person who is getting less than you, 9,000. You, you feel better. Mm. But if you compare yourself, you know, with you know, people who are doing well, who are successful, who has more money, who are more popular, who are celebrity, you know, you, you are not going to be happy because then this will, mm, you know. Comparison. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So if you, even good. if you want to compare, you compare with people who are less fortunate <laughs> than, than you mm. and you feel better. Actually, and, you are trying to understand the situation, seeing yeah. the whole picture, right? Yeah. Um, rather than comparing, you're yeah. actually seeing the whole picture rather than just seeing a scene, yeah. right? La? And then improve yourself also mm -hmm. on that. You, know, you, you compete, if you want to compete, you compete with yourself. You, tend, you try to be better than yeah. what you were yesterday. I always told my you know, guides and other people, you know, when you pray, you pray to become a better human being, not to you know, get more money, not to become more famous, mm. but to be a little bit better than who you are. If you are generous, you know, if you could become a little bit, little bit more generous, if you are kind, a little bit kinder, mm. you know, if, if you are volunteering one day, don't stop there, volunteer again, second, mm. third. After some time, you enjoy volunteering because it becomes part and parcel of your life. It's not easy, mm. you know, it's easy to talk. But to deliver and to yeah, make yeah. part to of it is that. very, very difficult. Yes, yes. The next segment, it is called Mystery Maze. It's mm -hmm. a riddle segment slash mm -hmm. I have a dad joke as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. So are you ready to, you know, solve some riddles? La? Okay. Okay, let's give Thank it you. a shot. <laughs> Number one, listen to this carefully. La. There is a one-story house. There is a one-story house. Everything is yellow. Yellow mm. walls, yellow doors, yellow furniture. What color is the stairs? This is yellow. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. I, I said listen yeah. to this carefully. There is this one story house. Okay. One story house where everything is yellow. Yellow doors, yellow furniture, yellow, you know, uh, walls, everything. Mm -hmm. What color is the stairs? So if everything is yellow. What did I say in the beginning? One storied house. Uh -huh. So? Uh, there's no stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I had to bring you back to one story, uh, right? Yeah, there's uh, no stairs. Yeah. It's a one story house. A mm -hmm. man dies of old age mm -hmm. on his 25th birthday. birthday. 25 years old is, is it, not yeah, old. Not, not it's, old, yeah. you know, vibrantly young. Yeah, so, yeah. how is it possible? A man dies at 25 years, years. old. A man of 25 years old dies of old age. Uh, On 25th birthday, birthday yes, 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 yeah, yeah. he died an old man, a mm. very fragile, frail mm -hmm. old man. How is this possible? Mm -hmm. um, He's not Benjamin Button, uh -huh. by the way. <laughs> it's nothing reversal, uh -huh. any magic going on. Uh -huh. It's just, it's normal. Okay. How, how do you think it's possible? 25 birthday. Yeah. Of old age. Yeah. He became a really uh, old, old man okay, on his okay. 25th birthday. Uh, yeah. And he died. Mm -hmm. ah. I'm, I'm not that good in results. Okay, let me see. <laughs> mm. Okay, let me give you a huge hint. Mm. There's this one special month in a year. Uh -huh. Okay, that's the hint. Uh -huh, okay. You're a smart man. You'll yeah, grab yeah. it from there. <laughs> February. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a special month uh -huh. in a year. Uh -huh. He was born on that month. Uh -huh. Which month is special in the year? February. So? Yeah, you got the correct uh, answer. Yeah. So, mm. yeah, 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 go, go. Uh -huh. Don't stop, go. February, because uh -huh. uh, so? it has only 28 days. Uh -huh. 20. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Keep on going. 29, uh, no, no, this is, I can't. <laughs> yeah, you're almost there, actually, uh -huh. sir. You're almost there. You give up? Yeah, I give up, yeah. Yeah, it's, he was mm. born on February 29th. 29th, okay. He uh, was a leap baby, uh, a leaper. So uh, a proper <laughs> leaper who actually uh, yes, celebrates his me. birthday but every four, four years. years yeah. So four times mm. 25. He's actually yeah, 100 okay, years yeah, old yeah, on yeah. his 25th birthday. I, I, I didn't think that. <laughs>
So that's all with Mystery Mezla. Okay. The next segment, it is called Once Upon a Time. So in this segment, I would like to know your story. I was born in Gelifo, yes. and, uh, and then I grew up there till age of uh, seven. Yes. And I, I was a favorite you know, kid uh, of my uh, grandparents. And then, you know, then I actually from there I came to Thimpu because my father was posted here. So I studied here for one year. Mm. How and, old uh, were you when you came to Thimpu? I think I was... Uh, I came to him uh, many times before I really no, when studied. When you actually came to live I, uh, here? When I, I, I was here just for a year. I mm, okay. was uh, nine years old. Yeah, and then you know, I studied in Mutang High School. In fact, you know, I have uh, four friends from, uh, you know, who used to stay in, in the uh, police compound. You know, one is uh, Colonel Singh Doji. Another is uh, Lieutenant uh, Namge. Police Nam is popularly known as Police Namge, and there's another guy called Tinle, and then Dawa. Five mm -hmm. of us used to walk from Darimahang all the way to, you know, to Mudetang. I was the youngest. So we used to, you know, I, I have asked four of them to come and then do this walk once. Mm -hmm. You know, we did that, you know, almost 44 years ago. So I said, why not do it? Oh, you, you know? uh, in present day? Yeah. Oh, so I said, nice. let's do it once, you know, because oh. we may not be able to, you know, that would be also a big reunion, get together for hey. us. Let's do it. So we were thinking about doing this year. Oh. And then, then from here, I went to Shamgang, studied there for three years, then came to Kaling, studied seven years. I studied one year in Yanshifu, and then, you know, went to Sharapsi, so studied five years. You know, we, my batch was the first batch to do honor, honor courses in, in Sharapsi. I... Did, I majored in literature, and then you know, then I came to Thimpu. My father was here, you know, so I, I was here. Then you know, I sat for RCC, and you know, twelve were selected. I was you know, thirteen. I got unselected. Then, but at the same time, I had passion for for tourism. You know, I knew about tourism since 1977, because my uncle had a friend who, you know was in tourism, and, and, and I heard about them talking. Then in 80, 84, which, uh, and I think, yeah, 8, 84, I actually, and I think 8, 87, uh, the Indian, and, uh, Indian MSC actually had an essay competition. I won, actually, a first consolation prize for <laughs> essay competition on tourism, oh, on, yeah. on, on ecotourism. Mm -hmm. You know, I wrote it then, and then, and then thereafter, you know, I have, I have always, you know, read articles on tourism and then you know in in, in you know in, in Kaling we used to have you know a uh, lot of magazines on on, uh, on national geography magazines everything so you know that also you know, you know uh, interested me in, in visiting places knowing and then I would actually take my friends you know for a hike or walk along the you know Jerichu or we would go to Danglingso and then I went to college and then, you know, after that, you know, once I was in Thimpu, you know, you know, after graduation, I started working for Young as a freelance guide. And then in, 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 after 96, I actually, you know, joined as a permanent staff in Young worked as a finance manager with an English background. Mm. You know, you know it was quite strange. But <laughs> That's I, interesting, yeah. yeah. I became finance manager because my boss, you know, Dasha Ugin wanted me to be... You know, finance. I became then in '98. I became a general manager, of finance and operation. And then, then you know, I left Yangpil. You know, after ten years, then you know, then I was freelancing more. And I wanted actually to form guide, you know, association of guides since 2003 actually. Yes. But somehow the other there was no support. You know, I couldn't actually do single handedly. Then in 2005, I again brought this issue forward. So for some time, we had a group of friends who actually, you know, came together, but we again couldn't formally, you know, uh, register it. Then, then I joined politics, you know, you we were totally thrashed out. <laughs> and then, you know, then I came back to Thimpu, and then I was training guides. Yes. And that time, you know, a lot of the guides came forward and they said, you know, that, you know, you know that they requested me, you know, to restart you know, association. The association. So I said only if they become member part, not just part of 
a gap, but I said, we have to register, we have to pay fees and be part of it. So they agreed, and 69 of them, you know, along with me, we you know, came together, we met many times, and then we started actually you know, writing article of association and other. Then we actually uh, re, you know, registered at, you know, with, with the civil society authority. And then you know, in 2010, I think on uh, uh, 28th, I think, you know, we, we uh, 20th April, I think, you know, we, we became one of the first uh, you know, civil society to be recognized by the government. And, and, I, and I, I was actually in the election for the guides. I was elected as the you know, chairman. Thereafter, I have been, this is my third term. And I, I have, you know, you know, the board rectified the article of association to you know, accommodate me because nobody wanted to actually come forward. And I said, I even told them that I can actually you know, guide them to be, but I'm looking forward to now you know, somebody who will come forward to replace me. And then, but one of the good things that, you know, that we did in the Guide Association is that uh, we provided a lot of employment opportunities, not, not during the COVID time, but even during that also, you know, before also, because we would actually keep uh, in constant touch with the operator so that you know, as and when required, you know, they would uh, know, call us to you know, send a list, or sometimes they would say, please send one guide, uh, experience guide and track, culture, or photography, so we would do that also. So we have done that many times. But during COVID time, we you know we have actually worked quite hard, and we you know we were able to engage more than you know 800 actually uh, guides, drivers uh, from hotels actually. Looking back, you were the first graduate guide mm -hmm. to work full time, correct, uh, You're yes, the first yeah, graduate yeah. guide to work full mm -hmm. full time. So how did that happen? I mean. Um, how do you feel looking back about that decision? Mm -hmm. I, see, I, it was my choice. You know, mm -hmm. I, I had actually choice of actually you know becoming a police officer, banker, even a lawyer. You know, you know, yeah. I could have even joined tourism council Bhutan. They, you know, they, they, they had actually you know advertised the post of a visa officer then. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and since I was thirteen, you know, I was the first from the non-selected candidate. I had the opportunity there. And in the police, since my father was already there, and also the, no, nobody no, in the police, out of five slots, only two went. Mm -hmm. So in the army, none of them went. And in the legal also, I had qualified because, you know, but I, I never wanted to study thereafter. You know, mm -hmm. somehow or the other, I said, this is it. We had only 43 that time, and the 43 of us actually appeared in the RCC. 43 um, uh, graduates. Graduates appeared in the degree RCC. Degree holders. Yeah, degree holders. Okay. You know, appeared in the RCC. I, I think everybody got, got a job. Yeah. So I could have, but somehow or the other, I chose tourism. I chose tourism because that was my passion, you know. And then I worked for two years to see that whether I can cope up with that or not. And then I found out that it's okay. In fact, I was, you know, asked to, you know, join Yangpul, you know, much earlier. But I chose not to because I wanted to see how I feel like. Then I, you know, I also didn't want to become finance uh, manager. I thought I'll, you know, be a full time, full time, you know, tour leader on the guide. But mm -hmm. somehow, but the fortunate. The plus point is that I could, even as a finance manager, I could go out and guide. So almost, you know, three, two, three months of the year, I would be guiding. You know, that mm -hmm. is almost like a full time, you know, mm -hmm. if, if you are doing a part-time job. But I had, you know, I was blessed with a full-time job as well as I was guiding. In fact, at, uh, in 2001, you know, I, I worked uh, for 233 days. Mm -hmm. You know, I had recorded that, you know, you know that's almost eight months. Yeah, yeah. You know, in a year. Out so, of 365 yeah, days, Yeah, right? that, that is yeah. quite a lot. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, and then, then somehow the other, I had passion actually uh, yeah. to talk, to meet people. You know, I always, you know, when I meet my tourists, I always tell them that, you know, that it is, you know, that I have always enjoyed. I told them that it is like a paid vacation for me to travel with them. I said, I are not... They said they, they, they said that they're fortunate, blessed to be with me. But I tell them it's the other way around, that I, I feel yeah. blessed that you guys have come here and, and I'm there with you guys. I, I, I get paid, you know, quite well. And then also to stay with them. And, and a lot of them, you know, most of them are high-end clients because I also worked with the, with the reputed companies. So which means you get good clients. And also, the, you know, that you, you learn quite a lot also. And also mm -hmm. you keep on learning also that there's no end to, you know, knowledge or wisdom or learning, you know, as our, you know, 
Buddhist saying, and the Buddhist saying is there that, and I don't know now the actual saying, but they say that we have to learn till our last breath, you know, because you, you'll, the only thing that you're going to carry forward yeah. in your next life is your knowledge and wisdom, yeah. so that you become a better, if you believe in karma, you know, reincarnation, rebirth, that is how. So guiding is like that. You know, there, there's no end, you know, yeah, to, there's to no a end knowledge. In, to learning, yeah, learning right? Like yeah, Ulysses, this, yeah. this man um, in Greek mythology, yeah. Ulysses. So he was this avid explorer, mm -hmm. avid learner. Mm -hmm. He had this obsession. He had this thirst for wisdom, right? Mm -hmm. He learned a lot. He saw a lot. He experienced a lot, right? But still he said that what he learned, mm -hmm. what he knows, is just an arch yeah. in an infinite circle. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. So... I totally resonate when you say that, you know, you learn a lot, mm -hmm. but yet there is more to learn, right? Yes. The next segment, it is called Fun Facts. So in this segment, I would mm. like to know two fun facts about you. I enjoy actually telling jokes. Okay. And I, I tell my clients also, friends also. Sometimes I make up also. One good joke, you know, I, I, know, I told a lot of the guides and tourists is about our you know, late friend you know, Kandu, Rappi, we call him Rappi oh, Kandu. Yeah, yeah. So you know, he told me that he took actually you know, a tourist to uh, Semdaka Zong uh, in the 80s. And then you know, the tourist asked him, you know, Kandu, why are some statues big and some small? Mm. And he said, no, no, what could be the answer now? He said, oh, then he said, he thought about something else. You know? mm. He said, oh, the first, they have made the big one. And from the left over, they make the small one. <laughs> And, and then he said, sir, what's the reason? <laughs> after, even after 10 years, he said, he doesn't know what it is. <laughs> he just bluffed. Yeah, he just bluffed. No, no, he, he didn't know the reason even. He doesn't know even now, no, he said. Uh -huh. So I said, Be because of the importance. Do you know the reason? Oh, yes, yes. Because of the in <laughs> importance of the deity. Yeah, you know, that's the, what I thought. The, the, the central figure is, if it is on, if the temple is in Guru Rinpoche, it will be, Guru Rinpoche is central. If it is on uh, Sangye, it's big, it's, it will be bigger if it is uh, again on Cherizi, so likewise, you know. Yeah, importance, in, right? Importance. Who is the main deity, yeah, main deity there, right? there in the temple? Yeah, okay, so you are a good joke maker. Yeah. And second fun fact is? I talk non stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, really? I, I, yeah. I didn't notice that. I, I can, you know. You won't believe it. You know, <laughs> I believe it, sir. I can go I on for a... hours. <laughs> you know, five, six, seven, in, in college days, you know, you'd come after dinner. You no, know, <laughs> we won't sometimes go to our, you know, to our dorm, mm. to our room. We, we are stuck in, in the meadow sometimes till midnight. We are just talking, talking. And I, 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 it would be me talking, you know. How long? Um, what is the uh, longest length that you've talked um, constantly? I, longest that you've talked? I can talk four, five, six hours just like that. Your throat, it doesn't No, no, hurt. no, no, <laughs> no it, it get, you, you get used to it, you know, after some time. Practice. practice makes the man perfect. You know, we tourists also, I, I, know, I, I go, I talk, I stand on the, if I'm going in the bus, I'm standing actually. Mm. So I'm uh, standing and talking. And then, you know, you talk good, you know, exciting, interesting thing. Then, you know, they ask you questions. So you answer. Sometimes, you know, you are standing in, in the bus for hours yeah. talking to them. Actually. And then, you know, you talk and then you <laughs> see something, you talk about that, they ask you questions. So you don't know how long you are talking. Yeah, you don't yeah, even yeah. keep a time. Before you know, you are there for lunch. My actually simple advice would be, you know, to be positive, not to be negative. Be, you know, kind and generous first to yourself, then to others. You know, it matters so much, you know, and, and importance should be given to yourself. A lot of the times people don't do that. Since I'm championing on the West, you know, through GAP, you know, the, I would want to, you know, uh, retrace what NEC said that, our waste is our responsibility. So we should take care of our waste. Thank you so much for being on the show. I had fun. I learned a lot from you. La. That's all we have for you now. Thank you for making me a part of your day and I'll see you soon. Till then, take care and be positive. Goodbye for now.